สวัสดีค่ะ and welcome to Cat Talks Thai. We're going to be looking at the Thai consonants today. Ever since I started teaching Thai, I've been getting a lot of requests for the Thai alphabet or the Thai consonants. And honestly, I think this is a great place to start because it helps you understand all the sounds in the Thai language. All right, so first off, there are 44 consonants in the Thai alphabet. Now that might seem daunting, but there are a few repeating sounds and there are two obsolete consonants, so you're not really learning 43 new sounds. Each consonant name will have two parts to it. The first part is the actual sound of the consonant, and the second part is a word that is associated with that consonant. So for example, the very first consonant is ga gai. Ga is the sound of that consonant, and gai means chicken, but that word will always be associated with it. So we always call it ga gai. All right, so I'm gonna move over to my notebook so I can write each consonant out for you as well. We will start with ga gai. And as mentioned earlier, there are two parts to the consonant name. So this one is ga gai. Now notice that the sound in ga gai is g, g, which is very similar to the sound of the K in the word maker. Maker, g, g. Okay, moving on to the next consonant, we have ka kai. Ka kai. Now, when a consonant has a circle, we call that hua or head. So that's where it always starts. You start at the circle and then you go down. And you'll notice that in this consonant, this part right here is narrow. We call that the neck. The neck is narrow, and as we go along, you'll see other consonants that may look very similar, but don't have narrow necks. Next is ka kuat. Ka kuat. This character is also the k, k rising tone, rising tone K, and it's also very similar to ka kai. But I will say that this character is obsolete and it's no longer used. Okay, after this we have ka kwai, ka kwai. This is a K sound but mid tone, ka kwai. And again, I started at the head and then I went over. Next character is ka kon, ka kon. It's the same sound as ka kwai. It's a K sound with mid-tone. Um, the difference in this character is that there is a hump, or two humps actually, on its back. And this character is also obsolete. So remember, this character and this character are obsolete and no longer used. Next we have ka rakang. Karakang. Started at the head, and then we have two humps, and we bring that down, over, and up. Also with a K, K, K mid tone sound. Karakang. Next we have Ngongu. Now this is a little bit trickier because it's the NG sound. So it's the same NG sound that you would find at the end of the word song. Song but this sound can also be used at the beginning of a word. So for example, the word ngong means confused, and it starts with ng, ngong. Next, we have da dan, da dan. This sound is very close to the J sound, um, although some would say that it's also a little similar to ch, d, d, da dan. Next we have cha ching. Cha ching. This is a ch sound with rising tone. Cha ching. And then we have cha chang. Cha chang. Also ch sound but with mid tone. We have sa so. Sa so. This character looks very similar to cha chang, but this has an S sound, sa so, and it has two bumps at the top. Right, next we have cha che. Cha che, also a CH sound with mid tone. Then we have ya ying, ya ying. Yeah, yeah, ya ying. 
It's a Y sound with mid tone. Next we have Da Cha Da. Da Cha Da. This has a D sound. Da 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 Cha Da. And right after that we have Ta Pa Ta. Ta Pa Ta. And I know these two look very similar, um, but I remember this one as a D sound because, because it only has one pump on it. So it reminds me of the letter D. So I remember that as da cha da, and then ta ba ta. Next we have ta tan. Ta tan. It's a t. Ta tan, so it's a T sound with rising tone. Next we have ta mon to, ta mon to. So you'll notice that it looks very similar to the lowercase n in English, but it has two bumps right here. So it's the head bump bump, and this is ta mon to. It's a t t T sound with mid tone. Ta pu tao. Ta pu tao. This also has a t t t sound with mid tone. Na nen. Na nen. Na na. N sound with mid tone. Da de. Da de. This has a D sound with mid tone. Da, 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 da. Next is ta tao. Ta tao. Ta, ta, ta tao. This has a mid tone, but the ta, ta sound is in between a T and a D sound. This isn't exactly like a T sound in English, but this sound can be found in the word actor. Actor. That's the T sound in actor. The the. Next we have ta tung, ta tung. That's the t t sound with rising tone. Next we have ta ta han, ta ta han. That's the t t t sound with mid tone. And you'll notice that this is very similar to Monto. It looks very similar, but this one has one hump and this one has two. And they are the same sound. Ta tong. Ta tong. This also has a t t t sound with mid tone. Na nu. Na nu. Na nu. It's a n n n sound with mid tone. Ba bai mai. Ba bai mai. Remember when I said the ka kai has a narrow neck and that there may be other characters that are very similar? So, ba bai mai, when you get more comfortable in writing Thai, some people write ba bai mai and it looks very similar to ka kai. But the main difference is you have to keep ba bai mai wider than ka kai. Ba bai mai has a b b b sound with a mid tone. Ba bla, ba bla. This sound is in between a P and a B, and it's very similar to the P sound that you can find in supper, supper, b b, and it has a mid tone. Next is pa pung, pa pung, pa p p p sound with rising tone. Next is ba fa. Fa fa. It's an F sound f, f, with rising tone, and you'll notice that they look very similar. But fa fa just has a longer tail at the end. Next is pa pan. Pa pan. This has a p p p 
key sound as well, but with mid-tone. And then we have fa fa n, fa fa n, F sound with mid-tone. You'll notice that these last four characters look very similar. They look like the English W, but when the head is turned in, it has a rising tone. So this is pa pung, fa fa, rising tone P, rising tone F, and this is pa pa n, fa fa n, mid tone P, mid tone F. Next is pa sam pao, another P sound. Pa sam pao with mid tone. Ma ma, ma ma, ma ma, M sound with mid tone. Ya ya, ya ya, ya ya, Y sound with mid tone. Ra ru da. This is the Thai R sound, ra ru da. And you're supposed to roll your tongue, but in casual conversations, you'll hear Thais say this with an, a regular R sound, ra ru da, or an L sound sometimes. Next is la ling, la ling. La ling is the la, la, L sound with mid tone. Wa wan, wa wan. That's the w w w sound with mid tone. And then these next three will have the same sound. We have sa sa la, sa ru si, and sa su. They all have the s, s, s sound with rising tone. And you'll notice that they all look similar to some of the other consonants. Sa sa la looks a little bit like ka kwai. Sa ru si looks a bit like ba be mai. And sa su looks a little bit like la ling. But they all have little tails to them. These all have the s, s, sa or s sound with rising tone. And next we have ha he. Ha he. It's the H sound, ha, ha, he, with rising tone. Then we have la to la, la to la, la to la. It's the L sound, la, la, with mid tone. It looks very similar to fa fun, but it has a, but it has a hoop at the end. Ah ang, ah ang. This consonant can sound like an A or an O at times, and it can also take on other vowel sounds as well as you learn more. So ah ang is an ah 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 sound with a mid tone. And the last consonant is ha no ku, H sound with a mid tone. All right, so let's go through these 44 consonants one last time. Ga kai, ka kai, ka kuat. Ka kwai, ka kon, ka ra kang, ngo ngu, ja jan, cha ching, cha chang, sa so, cha che, ya ying, da cha da, ta pa tak, ta tan, ta mon to, ta pu tao, na nen, da dek, ta tao, ta tung, Ta ta han, ta tong, no nu, ba bai mai, ba pla, pa pung, fa fa, pa pan, fa fan, pa sam pao, ma ma, ya yak, ra rue, la ling, wa wan, sa sa la, sa ru si. Sa su, ha hi, la jula, a ang, ha no ku, 